Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be setting up the Discord underscore perms resource along with the Discord whitelist script made by Elusive for this resource and myself for the Discord whitelist. This is an update tutorial as opposed to the last one and this uses uh, 5M's new methods I guess and it's just all around updated to work and function better. With this being said, it is still technically a beta uh, feature, so you know, your things might not work, but we have some debugging processes for you if that is the case. We're going to rip straight into it here, so what you want to do is you want to download Discord roles for permissions. Now, it is more than likely that you are looking at this website right here for the Discord whitelist setup. As you see, there's a link right here to the discord underscore underscore perms resource we'll just simply download this and we're going to throw it in our 5m server so we're going to download it we're going to copy her out here and we got our resources already open we can drag this one over here we can go into here and we simply just drag and drop that into our resources folder moving into here you want to configure it uh now the new version of my whitelist script actually doesn't really, well it doesn't require these roles to be set here at all because it's grabbing IDs rather than looking for a specific role. So all you need to do is edit your two top configurations here which if we go into Discord we can get the ID of my guild right here. If you do not have developer mode turned on you can simply just google how to turn on developer mode and then you can right click everything to copy IDs of everything everywhere. So now that we have that ID copied into here, we want to get a Discord token. So simply, we go to the Discord developer portal, which is discord.com forward slash developers, and you can create an application and you just need to have a bot. So all you need to do is when you generate it, you'll have a button in here that says add bot, add it as a bot, and then you got your token right here, which we want to copy that token. We want to then chuck the token into here, perfectly like that, save the file and we're pretty much done with this, you can close it now. Now you want to invite your bot, which you simply grab our template link. Once you have your template link, which I'll put a link to this down in the description below for your easy access and convenience, you want to copy your client ID, which will be shown back in the general information tab here, I really can't speak today. You want to copy that one and you want to chuck it where it says client ID here. You can set it to any permission set that you want. 8 is default for administrator, which if you're, it's your bot, there's not really too much of a concern there. Find your server that you want to add it to. You can press continue, press authorize. It's going to get you do a little cool recapture here to make sure you're not a bot. And voila, we have the bot in our server. We do not need to have this bot online and running for this to work. We just don't. It can be offline and it will work perfectly fine because it can still read the members and their roles in the server. So, if we go back, we can go and download the Discord whitelist script, which is right here. Click this button right here and you will get that resource off GitHub or you can direct download whichever one you want to do. Once that has downloaded, you will find it in your downloads folder and you can simply open it it's very simple and easy to use we can go back into our resources folder in our 5m server we can pretty you pretty much just copy the whole resource over like that it's really it's really it cannot get easier than this and if you have issues with this we have a few issues between us all right we have a few we have a few issues so now open up discord whitelist we need our server.lua because this is where we're editing things right you can configure your own not whitelisted message here. And we removed the non-discord open message to replace it with this, which gives you a handy little link down here to a debugging page for your users. Again, for your convenience. Now, discord whitelist role IDs. This is not the role name. We're not typing member. We're not typing whitelisted here. We put the role ID. So, best way to get a role ID is go into your server settings. You can go into roles and you can right click on any of your roles here and you can copy the ID. Chuck her into there. You do the same for our owner role because we want to whitelist the owners as well. 
we could do that. And we don't have a third roll, so we're going to get rid of this bottom line here because we just don't need it. Make sure you save the file, and this is pretty much all kitted and ready to rock and roll. The whitelist rolls do not require me to have both or all of the rolls that you put in here, only one, so keep that in mind as well. This is saved and done, we can close it off the books, we can go back in our general chat, we can say hi, no one's going to reply, but you know, I'm, I live a really sad life in this Discord, I just, me and my test bot. Going into the 5M server. We're going to start her up here. We're going to launch 5M. Once you have gotten into 5M, we will be using localhost, but you connect to your server as you usually would, and you'll probably notice it's going to tell us that we are not whitelisted for this server. Why? Why is that? Simply because out, out here, in this little wonderful land, we don't have the roles for our whitelist. Oh my god. Let's give ourselves the owner role. Let, let's see if we can get in the server now, because I, I want to get in the server and play some vanilla 5M. And look at that, we're going to download content and join the server. We're going to disconnect though. We're going to disconnect, right? We're going to kill it. Disconnect. Back to the home screen. I don't know what's going on. Back to the home screen we go. Because maybe I'm not an owner, maybe I'm just a whitelisted member. But you know what? That works too. And the great thing about it... The great thing about it is you don't have to restart the server. You don't have to do this, that, the other. You just change the role and it should be updated pretty much at the exact same second you do it. But my 5M crashed, so we'll be right back. Now, now that we, now that we have our super cool whitelisted role, because we're not an owner, we're just a member here in this lovely Faxes test server RP community, and you know what, I'm just a whitelisted member, so we're going to pop into here, and you're going to see, we'll be able to get in with the whitelisted role, because, you know why, it's, it's because we're whitelisted guys, come on. And stick with the program that is pretty much it if you if you don't know how to do that then please one rewatch the video all right learn learn it's always a good learning experience number two go read the documentation read the documentation because you know what i've had it up to here with people not reading the documentation and not knowing how to do it when it's clearly <laughs> labeled on how to do so thank you guys have a great day and uh Join the Discord, Twitter below if you need help. Have a good one.